Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to work with zip files. That is, we are going to learn how to zip our files or compress them and then extract either all of them or the ones that we want. So we are going to use this library zip file in Python and we are going to see how we can use this documentation to help us with some stuff. For example, we have zip deflated for compression method and other things. Now, I'm going to use Thony. If you don't know what that is, it's a IDE, a Python IDE, normally for beginners. So you can use it. And uh, I had a, have a, uh, another tutorial for how to work with it. Okay, the first uh, step that we are going to do is to first import um, a zip file, that is import zip file and zip file and then I have already uh, several files here in this directory so one of them is just test.txt and it's simple just one line text and then I have some music here mp3 which is 21 megabytes and also a test image in jpg format so I'm going to compress them and put them inside a zip file. Okay, let's get back to our uh, Thony. Now for that, we need to uh, use with as a context manager because we don't need to open the file and close it again. So we use with and we say with zip file dot zip file this time with capitals. So with uh, zip file, zip file, and then give it a name, which is going to be oops, uh, test dot zip. So this is the file that is going to create, and the mode that we want to use is writing mode because we are going to write in the file that is uh, convert those files or turn them into zip files. And let's uh, say that we want to open it as so we close it here as Z. So we are going to refer to the file that is going to be created as Z. And now let's say we want to write on this file. So it's going to be Z dot write and then give the name of the files we are going to write into it. So uh, the, the, num, the names are test dot txt for the text. And then let's write another one for the image, which was uh, test.jpg. And the last one was z.write. We're going to also write our test.mp3. And let's close it here. So now we have it. And now let's run this and let's see if we get any errors. If we don't, well, we do get an error here. And it says cannot find the file test dot oh yeah mp3 no mp3 okay mp3 let's run again and no problems so let's go back to our folder and now you see this zip file has been created which includes these cool but if you notice you see the um, yeah, this file is at 21 megabytes, which is actually the same size. So it's not being compressed the same size as these files. Now we need to compress it. So for compressing it, we used to you we uh, have to use another method called compression. So compression, compression, and it's going to be equal to what we just saw here. Zip. Um, file.zip deflated so we're going to deflate them and yes that's it so let me get rid of this file so that you see it happens again now if I run this I don't get any errors here cool let's go back created and now it's only 8 megabytes so imagine only our um, music file is 21 megabytes but this one is 8 all of them cool and you can see the three of them are here nice now let's see how we can extract them so for extracting them 
let me just copy this here and let's get rid of these paste it all right so for extracting them now we have uh, access to these but well first we don't need this compression anymore and also for writing the mode should be changed into read only mode because we're going to read the file now we're not going to write in it and now here we can say z which is our file zipped file extract all and put it in a in a um, let's say folder called x so we're going to also create this folder so do i have it already i don't have any x here cool so if extract all all right now if i run this again no errors and now i have my x folder here cool so i have access to these three now nice but if i want to and let's say um i want to have let me for example i want to have only one of them extracted like this text file or the image how do i do that now let's get let me get rid of uh, the yeah the text <clears throat> so i don't have any text here so i want to extract only the text now not all of them so instead of extract all i would just say extract and extract which one it's going to be test dot txt right and still is in should be in read mode if i run this again no error let's go back and you see now this has been extracted cool that was a very short uh, tutorial so for information more information you can go to the documentation on zip file and work with zip archives and see what else you can do that was um, just an introduction to some common things we need to do thank you for watching and listening